What's up, y'all? It's Mel. And, and I'm Keisha. And Keisha. I'm doing the eating chat for y'all. Keisha just gonna chat. Tonight's eating chat. I got me some pig feet, cornbread, cabbage, a little rice up in there. Just show my plate. Push it, come on. I have seven steak, a uh, seven steak, some shrimp, and cabbage. I'm drinking on that good old H2O. Y'all know Big Dirt ain't in the picture. I got some sugar, hot sauce. What? Big, this ain't nothing. Big yeah, Dirt don't belong in this. Big Dirt always has to be in the picture. Um, so how y'all doing? Happy New Year. Welcome Girl, and welcome back. So, if you're a my family returning. How y'all New Year made out? Nobody ain't get hit by no falling bullets, did y'all? Shit, my neighbor's still shooting. What? What are y'all? I'm just saying. That's dangerous. Stop being a cheap ass and pay for a range. But... When you got to bring an ID and you ain't supposed to have, maybe I need to just mind my business. Yeah. <clears throat> so, let me say grace. I'm going to get into this chat. And, you know, it is what it is. God is good. God is great. Thanks for the name. Bless the seed. Bless the holy name. Bless the prayers. Amen. 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 I don't have any black eyed peas because I didn't feel like them. But... You know, we got to do the pig, the cabbage, the greens, <coughs> and the peas. Well, I nixed the peas this year for now. But as you know, I love me a good bean. A good bean, a good pea, call it what you want. So. Let us know what y'all eating and if y'all eat with us. There you go. Let us know what's going on in y'all neck of the woods. See, you there for something. And everything. <laughs> Y'all know I want to know I'm nosy. I'm nosy. Oh. Imitation Louisiana hot sauce is all the same to me. Yeah. No, it's not. Right, I prefer my crystal, but my son's done crystal them out. They done knock crystal off. Mm-mm. This is my first meal from Travisic, y'all. No. Oh, I can't even taste it or smell it. I have been wanting cabbage. Mm. I should have just a whole bit of cabbage. Mm. Mouth running is... Name. Keisha and I had quite a day. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And we did it alone. They was mad with us, so they ain't want to go. I was all right with that. You know, sometimes we like to be alone. Right. You being mad and not want to go ain't hurt. And yo, I don't want to ruin my hole. But if y'all watch my haul tomorrow, which is a Walmart haul on It's Mel Baby, <laughs> shameless plug, sorry. <laughs> uh, you'll see why we had cry to be. <clears throat> when yours come out? It comes out tomorrow. Mine too. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, that hot sauce. <coughs> Uh, 
And um, I say that because I'm not going to tell y'all exactly what it was I purchased. But I purchased a big item like... And um, if you haven't been paying attention, or if you don't know, I um I don't use a power chair in the house, but as far as walking, I can't walk too long because then I can't breathe. So I do use a power chair when I, we go places. And um, so imagine two broads in a power chair <laughs> with four bags and a big item. And that's what I was telling Keisha like I know you uh, don't want to see them go, or don't believe they need to go, but, you know, it, it, there's a point in life, you know, she was telling me the reason she saw someone say the reason black families don't prosper is because when our children make 18, we kick them out. No, and I don't, I didn't kick any of my kids out. Um, one decided he was grown enough, so he left. And um, girl two's still here. But, you know, part of why I feel you know, black families don't do as well, and because everybody want to talk and nobody wants to help. Right. And not only that, especially in the case of when your older kids live with you, they want to keep being kids. But yet, on the other end, they won't say they're adults. Well, if you're an adult, you should be responsible, damn sure, for your own hygiene. Hell yeah. You should also be responsible for groceries some kind of way. Regardless if you cooking them or however they go, you should contribute. And um, it just don't happen. Damn, my cornbread look like a burnt little piece of think of something. You see it? <laughs> this is pig feet. I know because it's tasty and soft, huh? I don't know if it's tasty. It is soft. But I can't eat the rest of this. I had... I better just get some more cabbage. <laughs> Go ahead. Over there, though. That was a waste of time to shrimp, man. Peter was like, because when she went to the store, I went, give me two pounds of pig feet and a pound of neck bone. That meat wasn't neck bones, y'all. I think what they did was sawed up a, a leg and chopped it up. So that was not neck bones. Neck bones don't have no big circle hole. This cabbage is so 
So. And it don't hurt going down. But my soul. Mm -hmm. So for what the cabbage? Mm mm. Like my older sons, well, two of my sons still here. But, you know, I try not to supply everything for the house. You know, like, everybody wipe their butt in there. Why am I the only one buying $25 tissue? You know, I'm not the only one eating here. Why am I the one buying all the dish detergent? Like, and they get indignant when you tell them about it. Like, I'm, I'm not. Then they try to play you like you just ball. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Jamal. Are we good? Really? Like, I'm not the only one wash clothes in here. Now, even though I'm, they might buy soap, it don't never, it's like they, oh, well, I brought soap once, it's going to last all year long. Like, there's some <laughs> fucking soap genie in that bottle they got. When my son even go so far, I really use my dish detergent for soap. To wash clothes. And and you know what's crazy to me? It I said that the other day. Like, bitch, talking to myself, you ain't even got tea. Why are you still buying toothbrushes? <laughs> I'm like, that's just crazy. But you know, a lot of really are two brushes, yeah. You can meet. But Adult size toothbrushes. Like, nah. And then, you know what I hate? You know, you might think we're the same size. But we not. Keep your fucking dinosaur claws out my socks. Right. That shit around. Cause y'all know y'all feet ain't my size. Last year, I had went to Burlington and I brought me a, a pack of feline socks. And it was a, I believe it was a 10 pack. No, they had six packs, six pair of socks in there, I believe. Ask me how many pair of them I got. I don't have no pairs. I just have three or four feline socks. Oh, wait. I did have a pair. One pair out of six pairs.
and also You got to realize also that's like my sons. I ain't never leaving the fuck you in. <laughs> well what if you get a wife? That bitch better move in here with me. Bullshit. That says a lot about her. <laughs> Right, especially if she's willing to do it. Now I can see if y'all fall on hard times or yeah. y'all struggling and you know, you could pay your rent but you can't pay your light bill. I understand right. it. But I'll help you with your light bill. <laughs> no need to move <laughs> back. Um but you talking about when I get married, we living with y'all. You and what the hell on me in this bitch? Come on. When y'all was growing up, y'all didn't like to hear us boning. All right. I'm going to make y'all think we want to hear y'all boning. Because y'all wouldn't like my uh, rules. Ain't no man the crazy fucking stuff. in with us. Mm -hmm. And the crazy shit about that is when it was growing up, we didn't live in this house. I'm gonna say the house we lived in was better than this house. Right. But we couldn't deal with the rental agency. And <coughs> mm. We lived in a split house, so to speak. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. They had a little piece of bone in there, and I didn't want to swallow that. I'm not cool, you. And, um, because the other house we lived in, their bedroom was on the other side of the house from my house. Right. So, for y'all to hear us, Y'all was in the living room when y'all should have been in the bed. Right. Or y'all was at our door. Ain't my fault or my problem. Right. You know, when you were dying, let me come on, go to your room. <laughs> then when you, once you heard Maxwell, you knew for sure. Maybe I should just go to my room and say goodnight. Right. So. You know, talk about a bump, man. You better you might want to walk out the door. So, don't come at me with that. And, um, I don't, I put this in here. Oh, I have a bomb. And I know from the meat that is not neck bone, you know, the texture and whatnot. Mm. I'll try to eat some more cabbage tomorrow because I can't do it. That was good enough. Mm hmm.
I have to back to the point tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and call him and be like, we got COVID over Christmas. So, start me for next week. Right. But he wanted to see me two weeks after. And, um, I told him on the phone. Right. And they know I have COVID and they still schedule me for an infusion tomorrow. Like I said, I'm not going in because I don't want to be the reason anybody in the cancer center gets sick or, you know, you know, you know what? I don't want to be that reason. I keep saying there's a bone, but I think it's rice. You know, you catch a whole piece of rice. <coughs> Excuse me. I had did a pig feed and a person cook a remix. But, yo, <laughs> I'm going to have to go ahead on and get some real equipment or some shit. Because a real tripod that my camera can sit on. I have one. Because, yo, the camera fell over while I was filming. <laughs> and I'm in a video catching the camera before I hit the floor. And then looking at me. Nah. Mel just don't do that. And Mel don't edit either. No, what you say is what you get. Ain't going through that. I guess it's some kind of bone. Mm. All that cartilage on there is really good. Especially with that gravy on them. Do you really have to rub that in like that? I can't taste it. I oh. can't even smell it. Mm. Mm. I'm going to take some of your cabbage and put some chicken broth with it and make me some cabbage soup. Sorry to say, but you look at I put cabbage on your plate tonight. Why? Cause I know when we go to bed, I'm gonna suffer. Oh no, there you go. I uh, I'm sick. I have not did none of that since I've been sick. Have you? <laughs> no, I haven't. I I just started. Ooh, no, 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 no. Bitch. <laughs> no. That was one time and after that I hadn't done nothing else. And that was today. Look. I was in the bathroom with you. Yeah. This is my plate, y'all. This is what's left. The shrimp and this steak. I tried. Food one. My favorite part of the pig feet is the toe. So, excuse me. This pig had to be pretty fucking old. I've never seen a toenail that big. You never seen a toenail that big? That pig had to be old as shit. <laughs> Look, here go the other toenail. Look like a kernel of corn. Yes, it do. I really want to order me a suckling pig. 
Them motherfuckers run $200, dude. I'm like, I can get a pair of Jordans for that. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> right. I, um, made duck dressing after Christmas, but before New Year's. Now, Curtis is fascinated with duck. Y'all all for making that shit when a person can't taste and can't smell. I know if it's good and from what y'all, oh, it's so good. It's this, it's that, and other. Curtis mm. told me, like I said, he come at me every day, almost, since I made that, with some kind of duck dish. What about duck meatballs? <laughs> what about duck lasagna? I'm like, boy. You better get on that. The messed up part about that is, I'm not saying they eat duck like the whole 19 years, but <coughs> we did duck <coughs> at least 10 times over the last 19 years. At least. I think we ate duck more than that. Yeah, but you know, we would go out to eat duck. Um, well, me and Domain been loving duck. We go to the Chinese restaurant, order duck. But Curry is always will be hiding. I want lo mein. Right. No, that's for me. Give me lo mein. All right. Or I want the crawfish. Right. And boy, that duck was moist and tender. Excuse me, y'all. Wow. That's what happens when you eat talk and don't have teeth. Well, what happened? Okay, well, what is it when people do it that do have teeth? The teeth sometimes catch it. No, I'm saying when it happened and they have teeth. But when they tap in and they have teeth, their mouth too open. Oh, 
I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I am just so weird talking. And I don't know what I'm talking about. I thank God. I don't know how to my sense of smell and taste. I did lose my sense of smell for a minute. Well, good for you. Yeah, but I lost my sense of smell, taste, and my voice all at the same fucking time. Yeah, I'm full. They oh, say you're not. I, uh, shouldn't have drunk that sip of water, huh? Your testimony. Mm-hmm. And when I get better, they gonna come tell their testimony. They be your testimony. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? What? Oh, nothing, baby. Keep on. Each is on. So. Anyway, as I was saying, you know, <coughs> I feel nothing wrong with your kids staying with you after they're grown, even if they're not going to college. But I do say this if you're an adult living with your parents, Regardless if they're paying your bills or not, you need to do your part. Like, just because you became an adult don't mean your role and the job you had stopped. Just because you go to work and give them a little change don't mean you have made and butler service. It does not also mean your parents are a convenience store. Convenience right. store slash restaurant. Right. Like, you should at least, you should be buying your own hygiene. You should be buying your own clothes. Your mama shouldn't be, or your father, however it go, shouldn't be, oh, I was shopping and I got me a shirt and I saw this shirt for you and I got it for you too. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be like that. Oh. Oh, and... Shit. You should, especially things in the house that you also know that you're using, it shouldn't be no problem for you to buy at all. But it shouldn't be a problem for you to buy for your parents either. You living with your parents is not a necessarily I need you here type thing. It's because they want you there. Right. Uh, because you know, I'm to well, only one not grown is Lonzo, right? And we only get him on the weekend, so that's like, mm. and then when his mama get a sh- up a butt, we only get him like maybe once or twice a month, right? And then not necessarily that's not the even weekend. weekend, right? So, you know, I'm ready to be an empty nester. I want my sons to go out into the world and see what it's like and to stay out in the world and be responsible adults. Uh, but I know they don't have it together, together to where they can really go out there and be responsible adults. I'm not saying they slow. You don't think they got it together mm. enough to be able to go out there and do it on their own? I think they do. Okay, look how much debt Curtis has accumulated. Oh, he, that's because Curtis don't listen. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's but look how much listen. debt he has. Yeah. Curtis got... He think he know everything. And been everywhere. And then... My other son like to buy headphones and cheeseburgers. <laughs> so, right. the world what? is full of headphones and cheeseburgers. Right. <laughs> or 
called sweet spicy burgers uh, with lettuce and mayonnaise. <laughs> so, excuse me. Until they get their shit together and be like, you know, like, look, we don't ask much of them. And even though we expect shit, we don't make them make them do shit. Like, and when we uh, are struggling or we low on funds, however shit go, we go to each other. Right. And if we can't go to each other. We do it all. No. Because I ain't, I ain't asking no, this shit. No, I'm not asking either. But if my sister got it and she know I need something, she'll be like, what you need, bitch? You got a sibling you can call on. I mean, I have a sibling, but I'm not about to ask my little brother for nothing. I, that's my little and sister. I but I don't ask her. Do that's like one day she called me and she was calling me on a house phone. I was like, bitch, what you? Why you calling my house phone? Have you said, what, I need to pay some bills over there? I said, what the hell are you talking about? She said, your phone knows. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't ever let her get that comfortable thinking that. Don't do that. What are you talking about? You ain't let me finish talking. Okay, go ahead. She said, your phone knows. I said, well, you know, my phone go off every month because I don't ever remember the pay date. Forgive me. But, uh, but I know I don't need you to pay no bills over here for me. And, uh, but if she think, if she got it, she going to give it to me. And, uh, that's some stuff. I thank the Lord for my brother. Because without my brother, I wouldn't have my sister. Because... Even though our relationship still somewhat kind of shaky and rocky, whatnot, it's a hell of a lot better than it was when before, and it would not have happened without my brother. So, La Buddha, if you're watching, thank you. I know you're turning over in this bed. Right. Not his grave, cause he ain't dead, y'all. And he might be watching because my people talk a lot. And even though they don't want to let you know, let me know, or even support me, they'll show sure talk about, you know that girl do that stuff on the on the YouTube. Uh just put her name in. You should be able to find her. Or they got that they say something about a fat woman. You know, they you know, people don't never want to give the whole name out and stuff. And they, all these years, I'm still her little friend. <laughs> right. That is so I cute. was talking to my aunt for Christmas. Nah. We really got almost 20 years Hold and I'm up. Still on I was talking to my aunt That's for Christmas. Cute. Well, one of my aunts, because I have a few aunts. Uh, a couple of aunts. I was talking to my aunt for Christmas, and she was like, Ooh, you and that girl, your little friend, been together. A long time, haven't y'all? I said, yeah, we've been together for a while. She said, how long you and your little friend been together? And I'm like, I've been with this woman almost 19 years. And you still gonna call her my little friend? Like, let's, let's just fucking pull the fucking wool off and uh, fucking kick the elephant out the cone and shit. You know that's my woman, right? <laughs> That's not my friend. Of say, not saying, you know, what we are, you know. But my other aunt ways. calls you my wife. A bitch. But your other, they, she's an older woman, you know what I mean? They both Give older women. I mean, my aunt be like, how your wife and your kids doing? She but always that say that. other people with the friend. That don't bother me, you know. That don't I mean, bother me either. Say, that shit funny I mean, to just, me. Just Why would it bother me? I'm saying you said just call it what it is. She know what it is, but that's her way of acknowledging it, but not acknowledging it. You understand? Right, you know, right. Like, yeah, I sense. know. You know. That's because so they like, want me with you. Just let her have it. My daddy and him talking to her, mm -hmm. she, well, she probably didn't want me to be no dyke anyway. Uh, I don't know. You look Because. You look like them. Cause what? You look like them. Of course they didn't. 
I don't look like them. I look Girl, like please, that nose is every bit. Yeah, that's the only thing that no, really smacked me. Noses. And my, I got my daddy kind of wider face. My mama's face was narrow though. But other than that, they uh. As far as my, let's put it this way. I was my daddy's favorite to them. Like, go, forgive me, little I mean, sis. Told me. Forgive me, little sis. You know you're not the favorite when it comes to my dad's two daughters, don't you? You never were. Wow. That, that's wow. in. No, you knew she wasn't because Yeah, I know it, but you know you just just stuff, just stuff, like stuff you don't speak. Why should not speak that she wasn't a favorite? Because she probably thinks she was. She probably do think she was the favorite, man. <coughs> she was not the favorite. And then let me guess. Hold up, let me guess. Oh, well, that truck in the front yard see is different. Oh, I already know. And don't kick that. I already oh. know. Oh, but oh, she oh. wasn't there. He couldn't have gave oh, it I'm to not her. Like that. Yes, he could know. have. Because I remember clearly it was uh, around the time I, my mama died. And my daddy was mad with me. And he was like, bring me my truck. But well, I ain't got no gas in it, so I guess you're going to have to get it and bring it to the nearest gas station. And uh, he could have kept it, but he didn't. But not only that, that was like my dream truck. It's just not the make I wanted. Like, I wanted a Chevy 1500. He going to buy a fucking Ford F-150. It's all good, though. He must have right. thought I liked Fords, though. Because my daddy had brought me a Ford pickup truck before. And I'm like, where you come with thinking I like Fords? So you wasn't a Ford girl. Fuck no. You're I was not a girl. Look, my first car was a Buick. Then my next car was a, a, a Honda. And... Uh, my next car after that was um, a Honda. It was a Chevy's girl. I can't believe I was fucking with Hondas like that, but I was. Then the next car was another Buick. Man. So I'm finished eating, y'all. Um, thank y'all for coming. Eating and chatting with me. Good night, y'all. Good night. I'm sorry, y'all. We hope y'all enjoyed this video. We love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with us. And until next time, we're going to plant you down and dig it later. Because I know y'all can pick up what we are putting down here. Peace. Now, who the fuck asked her to say anything? You looked at me. Mind your damn business. But you looked at You're me. You're not in this video. You looked at You's me. You was over there. I'll be in the video tomorrow. I'm going to sit right next to you tomorrow. Yup. You're over there, and I think it's still too close. I'm going to sit right next to you tomorrow. It's like, I don't even want to sleep gonna with you. I'm going to kiss your ass in her mouth. <laughs> and I'm going to punch you in yours. <laughs> she, see, she be in there. <laughs> Doing all that in front of that fan, and I be wanting to just wrap her in that fan up in a plastic bag. Oh, Bitch, I'm gonna put a hole in it. You'll oh. get a little oxygen in. Fuck what? all that. When you be in front of that fan and you be coughing, I be wanting to wrap y'all in a plastic bag. You and the I fan. I my head under the cover when and I. And cough into cough, your hands. Cough into my face. I'm going to cough into my face because I don't want this shit blowing back at me. So you only yeah. don't cough into your fan because of you? Well, you too, babe. You anyway. Too. Um, I'm going to say goodnight. Happy New Year. We hope y'all New Year is going. What are you doing? 
I'm talking. I'm this talking. is not your video, man. This is male for walking a fat woman's shoes. Do you see Keisha? I am. All right, y'all. Well, good night, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all be blessed. Y'all stay safe. And you have a good one. Peace. Thank you, my see you all. Do I do that on here? No. You don't? No. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Later, y'all. Peace. This. Boy. <coughs> Just go ahead on. Look at that once again. <coughs> <coughs> This is why I don't like to give you the clicker. You're always with that bull. You won't be all day then when I'm in the middle of saying something. Oh, it came the time. Click. <laughs> like right I'll now. I'm just saying peace, nigga. I'm going to get off. I said it already. Okay. Peace, y'all. Good night.